All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we've got a Galaxy 94 HP sent in by David. David sent this in. Wanted us to go through the radio and uh, wanted a kind of a before and after. Um, so basically what I've done, I've hooked it up here to the machine and just listening on the dummy load here at the static level. It's pretty much stocked on the receive, I can tell that just by the noise level. It's a little excessive static level that it's got. Uh, we can uh, engage the uh, machine here and uh, it's pretty much uh, it's not got a real good uh, well, I'm trying to get it to lock but it's got a little bit of distortion so it won't lock on the scope but anyway um, it's uh, let's see it's running it don't look good at all, really. It's running, it's pinching. Showing about 127% modulation. So, slightly misaligned. I uh, turned the variable power down and it doesn't, it doesn't have an MPC mod. If it does, it's well regulated. So that's a good thing. We'll have to check to see that. So, it's like it's cranked up a little hot and it's pretty much as far as the spectrum analyzer is concerned. We can see it here, let's see, 30 kilohertz. You can see it's just, it's pretty much blowed up. Looks like crap. And uh, I didn't check the carrier, but it's uh, doing about, I guess it's about 100 and 160 watts on the meter there. So, PP. It's a little hot too, so. Alright, we'll run it out to, uh, let's see what 50 megahertz looks like. Yeah, it's it's pretty dirty. I mean, it looks like a. It's about how these galaxies come, you know, um, out of the box. This one's a little hot, but as far as the watch, it's been tuned a little hot, turned up modulation-wise a little hot, but it's pretty much stock. And it's not real bad. It's it's pretty much a a Galaxy stock Galaxy 94 that's just uh, they went in, converted, and turned the modulation pot up. You know, and that's. That's what you normally get from these guys for 40 bucks. Uh, well, at least they didn't turn it all the way up. They didn't crank it wide open. Uh, I can say that. Somebody, whoever did this one, um, had a little bit of gumption about them. But uh, it's still not good. It's pretty dirty. Got lots of IMD. And uh, we'll have to go through it. Controls are dirty too. We're going to go in and control the, uh, clean the controls. So, and all that. So. All right, well, enough so-sos. We're going to get busy and uh, get this thing done, and we'll be back to finish product. All right, so we're back with the uh, 94 HP. We've got the sideband uh, adjusted. It was kind of weird. It was the, the um, audio side was a little hot on the sideband, but it wasn't really producing. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, 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 hello. Anyway, it's uh, working now. One, two, three, looking good. Good sideband signal. Hello, radio. One, two, three, four. Audio, one, two. Hello. 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 About 125 watts or so. PEP power. With it all the way up. So it's working good. Alright, so we're going to pause this thing. We're going to get the receive done. Then we'll have it. Uh, put it back together and we'll do an overview of what we got going on. Be back. Okay, we're back to the 94 HP and we're doing the receive on this radio. Coming in about negative 107. Sorry, I got it where y'all couldn't hear it. Uh, right there. About negative 122. Where we're at. So, let's see. Yeah. Maybe 
seven. Sorry. So anyway, that's uh, looking good in the neighborhood. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get this put back together and we'll do an overview. All right, so we're back with the 94 HP. We're gonna listen to it real quick and uh, check it out here. Uh, first, real quick, I wanna show you, uh, David, turn this 29 down for a minute. Anyway, about uh, 30 watts uh, with the carrier all the way up. Carrier, this is from the AM side. Carrier all the way down. It's about 8 watts. Uh, it's about 7.3 on the uh, reference. is looking good. Everything's looking good. Uh, good and clean. No, no, uh, hello. No second under audio at all. None, none of the second harmonic. It's only at high power. You get start getting a little bit of that in there. Hello. And since we put the covers back on and everything, it's shielded itself. Hello. It's not even really showing the second. Plus, we've got it a little warmer now. Now, I know that when we set these radios up, I get guys all the time asking me, how's the temperature of them? Well, you get your radio back, you can check it yourself. They run pretty darn cool compared to the way it ran probably before it came in. Um, you know, the, it's, uh, definitely a big time improvement. So anyway, just so we can listen to it and turn this up. I got a little echo on. Hello. Hello. One, two, three. Audio check. Check, check. One, two. Audio. It's trying to feed back a little, but you know, we're so close. Ain't nothing hooked to the 29. We're so close. You know, it's kind of hard to give an audio sample. Turn that down. It'll probably scroll good now. Yeah, it's going to because we lowered dead key so much. So let me turn it down a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I'll duck it. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. One, two, three, four. Audio. Kind of hard with the. Under a whistle. <laughs> Hello, audio, check one, two, audio, one, two, audio, audio. Well, I don't have the right slug in, but right there it's 30 watts modulating about 120, one, you know, right in the neighborhood of 120. So, uh, all the way up like that. And you can talk like that till the cows come home. I mean, this radio will uh, hold up and talk real good right there. So, all right, David, we appreciate your business. We're going to get the, uh, still got to put the screws back in it and get it ready to go back to you. And uh, as always, uh, y'all stay tuned. Got a lot coming up in the next few days. Uh, I was out most part last week, man. And uh, I appreciate everybody that knows about it and, and everybody that shot the prayers my way. Uh, I had my youngest granddaughter, it's one. She got bit, attacked by a Shih Tzu and a uh, little bitty dog but still it did some damage to her because she's only one dog bit her in the face multiple times and she was in the hospital and we just thought she might have to have surgery and because uh, it messed up one of her tear ducts got right by her eye so it was pretty serious and uh but she's doing well and we appreciate all the prayers on that uh for the people that you know knew what was going on and sent prayers our way uh, i'm playing catch up today i've got about probably I don't know, six or seven radios I've got to do before I go home today. And then I'm working on uh, some projects. Uh, uh, i got to finish a couple of projects i got uh, that are lingering. So, um, anyway, y'all be safe, be careful, be kind. I will be making a video. Well, it may be the VEX video up concerning some, some store policies that we're going to start. Not really start, but... We're going to go over the store policies, old policies that have to do with uh, not accepting major repair radios. And then we have a new amplifier policy, uh, you know, a um, lot to cover. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you ever have any questions, 
www.442built.com. You can text us, email us, whatever. You know, it's all in the on the website. Every way possible to contact us. Um, like I say, now I always can't get to my messages. Uh, if you're texting and stuff very quick, give me at least 24 hours to, to acknowledge you. Uh, be patient. If you're emailing, the emails are checked uh, about every two to three hours or so when we can. And uh, same with voicemails in case I miss your call. So, uh, you know, your, your question and your contact, your communication is important to us. And, uh, uh, but we're one person serving many. So just give us time to get, get back with you. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Talk your head off enough. Uh, David, this 94 HP is headed your direction. Have a good one. I'm going. I'll see you.